This is the Solar Guitars AB 1.6 HTB and it's really fucking good, dude. I'm sure loads of us here are huge fans of Erler Englen because how could you not be? He's the OG metal guitar guy on YouTube, an absolute riff machine, and just one of the best dudes in the guitar realm. So it's no surprise that this guitar is an absolute must play for anyone who wants filthy riffs, but I'm surprised at just how good this thing is, especially with one thing in particular. Here's the specs. We've got a swamp ash body in this absolutely sick transparent purple burst matte finish, and that's bolted to a 24 fret roasted maple C-shaped neck with a 14 inch radius, stainless jumbo frets, lumen side dots, solar locking tuners, reverse headstock and a plastic nut, I'll get to that, resulting in a 25 and a half inch scale length. Then there's a USA hip shot fixed bridge, Duncan solar bridge humbucker and dual rail in the neck, three way switch, volume and tone both with push pull for series and parallel switching. That is the type of specs list you want to see when you're picking a metal guitar right, it's got just about everything that you need and nothing that you don't. When you first get it in your hands it's super clear that Ola designed his guitars to be a no nonsense way of getting straight into the good part and not have to be f***ing about with anything else and I massively appreciate that because it's exactly what I wanted when I bought this guitar. The other thing that was incredibly apparent when I first got my grubby hands on this thing is just how solid and well built it is. The quality of the construction is absolutely awesome dude and that's reassuring. I don't know about you but I do a decent amount of research when it comes to spending my money on a new axe and the overall consensus seems to be that Solar guitars are great quality and well made. That makes a lot of sense to me dude because Ola is basically the face of the brand. Ever since the days he was designing these guitars for production under Washburn it's very much being his baby, so if Solar were making bad guitars then Earl is the one who's going to take the brunt of the criticism. That said, there's always going to be a few complaints and QC does come up fairly often but I'm happy to say that this guitar doesn't reflect anything that I've read online. It's solid as f and there's only one tiny minuscule imperfection on this guitar right here in the neck pocket which seems to be a little bit of red marker pen probably from marking up in the factory. Well, that was the case until I got my hands on it, started restringing it and put this chip in the headstock because I'm clumsy as fuck. But right out of the box this guitar was good to go man. I wouldn't say the setup was totally to my taste, the action was very much bang on recommended string heights but I have taken it down a little bit and it is a totally personal thing. The good news is that the hardware, particularly throwing a USA hip shot on this thing, makes the guitar super easy to maintain and really accommodate into fast playing setups but I am going to get super picky before I get into the really good stuff. I don't know why this guitar's got a plastic nut, dude. I am sure there's a reason for it, like saving costs when you're making six trillion different models and colorways, which actually I think is super cool that Solar does that. The reasonable part of me is saying that if a plastic nut is cut properly, then it's not gonna be an issue at all, and the vast majority of players aren't gonna give a fuck anyway. But the other side of me, knowing that something as small as a nut can put some players off, would love to have seen Graftech on here. And I'll be honest, I just assumed it had one when I bought it. I didn't even look at what the nut was on here because I just took it for granted that performance guitars like this would have graph tech stuff on them. So far though, extremely picky criticisms aside, I'm having absolutely no issues keeping this guitar in tune and if I do start to have a problem then I can put a graph tech nut on this for less than the cost of a takeaway so it's far from a deal breaker. I just think it must be even cheaper for manufacturers to get them wholesale so like why hasn't it got one? Especially when tons of people will blame an entire guitar for not staying in tune when it's actually something as simple as just a little block of summer at end at fretboard. Overall the quality wise I am massively impressed with how good this guitar is dude. A lot of you guys and a buddy from work have been telling me for a little while now that I need to try a Solar art and I'm super glad to say that you were all completely right but there's more that makes this sick than just the build quality. What really matters in a metal guitar is playability. Just as an aside I feel like I keep referring to this as a metal guitar which I guess is fair given the brand and who it's from but I do feel like I'm doing it a bit of a disservice by limiting it to just one genre. There's no reason at all that these guitars from Solar couldn't do all the same stuff that you'd get away with on an RG or something like that. Actually this is the super strat that I've kind of always wanted the RG or like a Jackson soloist to be. Don't get me wrong I've always loved the RG, I'm not a massive Jackson fan, maybe I've just not found the right one yet but this takes clear inspiration from all the super strats that came before it and trims the fat, turns it into a proper weapon. The neck is definitely a standout feature of this guitar dude, I feel like it's somewhere in between a Fender C and an Ibanez Wizard in that it's 
thin, but it retains a proper C profile. It's rounded and familiar feeling, but also super quick, like a really good balance of what you'd want if you were transitioning between riffs and leads. It's like a fast Goldilocks profile, and a lot of players I reckon would get along with this really well and find it super comfortable. From there though, there's the stainless steel frets. Apart from some outliers, it's not as common as it should be to find stainless steel frets on a metal guitar at around the 700 pound mark. And when you put it up against its most direct competition, which is Ibanez and Jackson, you're gonna be paying a few hundred quid more from them to get the same thing. In fact, how many Ibanez guitars have actually got stainless steel frets? I think it's only like two or three models and they're all prestige. And the fretwork on these stainless steel frets is super good too. They're all leveled and crowned properly. The fret ends are awesome and they're all polished super nice. The body's interesting too, because it is definitely a super strap, but Earl has ended up with something that is immediately recognizable as a Solar and that is sick, dude. The horns feel like they're more elongated than you'd get on a regular super strap and then they've been moved further out. So there's like a metric ton of space between them and the fretboard leaving loads of access for the upper frets and the upper fret access is aided by a really solid neck heel design and then these like little speed carve cutaway things that make it even better it plays really fucking well dude it's a straightforward no bullshit performance guitar and it's going to suit anyone from the dudes who are playing blisteringly fast licks to the other guys who are going to be tuning down and crushing everything to death now though i get to talk about my absolute favorite thing about this guitar it sounds fucking phenomenal If we're being honest, although this is an incredibly well-built and thought-out guitar, on the surface there is only one thing that separates it from every other Super Strat on the market, besides looks and having an absolute Swedish Giga Chad as the owner. The pickups. Well, it's a good f***ing job that the Duncan Solar pickups you can only get with a Solar guitar are absolutely sick, man. These are some of my all-time favourite passive pickups that I've tried, and it's not like I'm incredibly surprised. I knew the tones you'd get from Ola's brand were going to be great, but... I didn't realise just how good they were going to be, and that's coming from a fan of Seymour Duncan. So if you are a fan like me, these are definitely Seymour Duncan through and through, but they've just got a little bit of something else going on. I always find it hard to even try and describe the sound of pickups, because it'd be like trying to explain the colour blue to someone with no eyes. But they're a little hotter than my other favourite Seymour Duncan pickups, the Sentient and Pegasus set, with slightly more mids and then all that clarity that you'd expect. The rail in the neck is a really cool option too. It's actually one of the biggest reasons why I went for this model, because I really really like the rail in the neck of the RG565 and it's just a solid way to get more tonal variation out of your guitar. Whatever it is that makes these pickups sound like they do, I am here for it dude. As soon as I plugged this thing in, got my first few chugs, the response was just there. The Duncan Solar pickups have got a new fan and because of them this isn't just a performance guitar, it'd be an awesome daily driver as well as a sick recording guitar too. I think they nailed it. So it's obvious that I really f***ing like this guitar dude. <laughs> I actually think it's super interesting that the two YouTuber guitar brands that I've tried have been outstripping the competition in terms of quality, playability and sound, but it makes perfect sense when you think about it. In Ola's case, I think it's unfair to label him as just a YouTuber. To me, he's way past that. He's an incredibly accomplished musician and business owner that's used YouTube as a platform to share his knowledge of metal music and instruments with everyone. With those credentials, it's totally reasonable to expect that he would know exactly what makes a guitar 
are that he's going to want to play and his audience is going to want to play too. This really is a killer example of that. And if you're thinking about getting one, do it, dude. I'm sure you're going to love it. Anola, if you ever see this video, thanks for being you, dude, from me and everyone who's watching.